everybody, Winston and Donna rolling with the halls. It is early, the sun is just not so coming up. early, I hate mornings. We are on an adventure today. We have our canoe on top of the car. You can see it right there. And we're headed up to the Sulphur River, the bottomlands of the Sulphur River in southwest Arkansas. It's an area steeped in Native American legends and Hollywood lore. You ready to check it out? Ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Sulphur River Wildlife Management Area is only a 45 minute drive up I-49 from Shreveport, just over the state line in Arkansas. This area of Arkansas is a land of extremes. On one hand, the land is both mystical and inspiring, full of beautiful landscapes and wildlife. It was also once home to Native Americans, including the Caddo and Choctaw tribes. On the other hand, in the early 1970s, this area of southwest Arkansas exploded into national awareness because of a totally different reason. A monster, a movie, and the legend that went with it. In May of 1971, the Ford family was living in this house near Boggy Creek, not far from the Sulphur River, when they were allegedly attacked by a hairy ape man, later dubbed the Falk Monster, after the nearby town of Falk, Arkansas. Soon, other reports surfaced, including the alleged discovery of the creature's footprints, and a legend was born. Not long after that, a movie was made telling the Ford family's story. The movie was called The Legend of Boggy Creek, and it forever intertwined this area with the legendary creature. To this day, the appeal of the Falk Monster is a major source of tourism in the area. We reached the Highway 71 boat ramp just as the day was breaking, ready to start our adventure on the Sulphur River. We're getting the canoe off of the car and then we're headed to the river. Okay, we've made it to the Sulphur River. We've got the canoe loaded up with all our gear. And we're about to head up river. It's a beautiful morning. And last time I was here, this is a true story. People don't think of Arkansas and alligators in the same sentence. But last time I was here by myself, a hundred yards from the boat ramp, there was an alligator sunning on the bank and the alligator jumped in the water and scared the bejesus out of me. So we are ready and we've got our cameras with us. We're going to see what kind of wildlife we can see or maybe even the falc monster. So let's hit the water. I'm just for long for the ride. I'm taking pictures. I'm a trolling <laughs> He's doing really good too. Well, the horse is pretty good. <laughs> That's a bad sign. We've only been out on the water a few minutes. <laughs> paddling on the Sulphur River is truly like paddling back in time. This area is one of the last remaining bottomland hardwood habitats along the entire Red River Valley. The Sulphur River lies in the middle of the Caddo homeland. It was here, around the year 800, that Caddo Indians migrated from the Mississippi River Valley. For perspective, the United States is only 243 years old. Meanwhile, the Caddo Nation called this area home for 1,000 years. In 1817, the U.S. government established a frontier trading post at the mouth of the Sulphur River, about eight miles downstream from where we put in. As we traveled, it wasn't hard to picture members of the Caddo tribe on their way to trade goods, paddling just like us on this timeless river. So if you look at the Sulphur River on a map, it's tucked away down here in the southwest corner of Arkansas. 
but it starts over in Texas. It's a multi-state river. Starts in Texas, cuts through Arkansas, and eventually ends up in the Red River on its way through Louisiana. And this is like the forgotten corner of Arkansas. There's alligators, there's even some swamps and bayous. It's not what you typically think of when you think of Arkansas, but it is beautiful. quicksand, quick mud, I guess. And so it sucked off the bottom. I don't know if you can see this, but it sucked off the bottom of my boots. Gone. Both of them gone. He made me rescue them. He said we can fix them, but I was like sinking, sinking into the mud. I hate mud. So you can imagine. Then I getting out, I fell and hit a rock with my arm because I was rolling in the mud. <laughs> Meanwhile, Winston was in the canoe still just watching it all unfold, unfortunately. But now we're out and we're having a picnic lunch. Picnic lunch on the Sulphur River. Yay! Gatorade! Well, we were going to stop for lunch because we were hungry and been paddling all day. And it's only 10.45 in the morning. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're tired and hungry. Burn a lot of calories. Yeah, and to be honest, when we were in the car on the way here, he said he was ready <laughs> for lunch, which was at about 6 a.m., 6.30. All right, so we've had a little food, and we're going to very carefully get back in the canoe and head up river a little further. The good news is I can't get any dirtier. Well, unless I end up in the water, so I shouldn't say. Never Knock on wood. Ever. Yeah. So in the middle of the wildlife management area, they are putting out some kind of tarp or fabric or something. So there is literally a bulldozer and trucks and at least five workers. It's hilarious. So much for being out in the wilderness by ourselves. Hello down there. Hi. We're going to catch the Falk monster on film. Wish me luck. Okay, we've paddled about four miles up river. We're in the middle of the Sulphur River Wildlife Refuge. And I have put out a game camera right there. Out here, kind of just in this beautiful wooded area. So he went up there in those woods. I was looking for some sort of animal path, but I don't really have time to look for that. So I've just come up from the river about 30 yards above the flood plain and um, just put this game camera out. And it's in the middle, we're in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know what, if anything, we'll catch on here, but I'm gonna come back in a week or two and see what we found. Stuck in the boat still. I can hear him clomping around up there though, so I'm guessing he's still good. I 
she sees an alligator. So somewhere in that water are two alligators that we just saw them splash from the bank. They were sunning, I guess, and we saw them splash into the water. And now they're somewhere over there. It's a little creepy to come by in the boat knowing they could be underneath you, but they're over there somewhere. It's very odd to me that they can stay underwater like that. It's alarming. But anyway, of course I didn't have the, I was paddling to help Winston and I didn't have the camera out, but that's okay. We're still at it. Yay! Paddling away. Hope we don't catch on film. I saw a video of somebody that was uh, filming and the camera, the boat turned over. They went in because the alligator was underneath their boat. Winston! <laughs> You see it? Winston said it's a deer. Thank goodness, because my eyes were playing tricks on me and I thought I saw the fog monster <laughs> in the shadows back there. I need to get off this river. No good for me. Okay, we've been out on the Sulphur River about four and a half hours now. And we left very early this morning and we got out here and the river was beautiful it was foggy and as the old sailors up in Maine say the water was glassed off it was perfectly still and for the longest time there was no wind and so we paddled away from the interstate away from the boat ramp and saw all kinds of wildlife we saw some deer and uh, uh, ducks we saw some herons and a crane, um, all kinds of critters. We, we did not see the falc monster yet. Uh, but, oh yes, Donna mouthed the words moo from behind the camera. We saw a cow. It's not very much wildlife, but it was definitely a cow. And uh, so we paddled, I, I think we went about four miles up river and we left a game camera uh, on a tree because I've always been curious what's in these woods. Uh, the Sulphur River Wildlife Management Area is huge. And this whole bottom land is just wild. So I don't know, I didn't get to put the camera on a game trail, I just put it up in the forest. So we'll, we'll see, may not get anything, but I'm gonna come back in a couple weeks. And in the meantime, we've had a pretty good day. Donna had one spill, uh, got mud all over her pants. Two, sp two spills. <laughs> She's giving me hand signals too from behind the camera. Uh, but we've had a great day. We, you know, we've been away from the city, away from civilization, away from news. It's 12.30 in the afternoon, the day after an election, and I have no idea who the president of the United States is because it's too beautiful out here. Uh, we just, it takes a while to unwind, but we're having a great time and we're on our way back to the car now. So we're gonna keep our eyes peeled and cameras ready and see if we can see some more wildlife. And of course, as always, the fountain monster. Get 
We just got honked at by an 18 wheeler that was crossing the bridge. I love it. Okay, well, we had a really awesome day. We did. Uh, we got a little muddy. Yeah, two times I fell. Yeah, <laughs> saw some. Trying to get out of the boat, but next time he's getting out first, I can tell you that. Uh, we saw some real life alligators. We did, several. So, all in all, it was a good day. And, of course, we had to end up at the Monster, Monster Mart. Mart. <laughs> At, we're, we're actually parked in front of it right we're now. In we're in downtown just, Falk, Arkansas. And I, you know what? This is worth relocating yeah, to the channel. Yeah. It, there it is. Monster Mart! It's awesome. Home of the legendary. And they have places you can take pictures, which, by the way, we did. So we'll put yeah. that in the video. Yeah. It's awesome. They sell all kinds of stuff. And they had movie posters in there for The Legend of Boggy Creek and then The Legend uh, Legend of Boggy Creek Returns. Two? Yeah. Something like that. The Legend Continues or something. And it was directed and written by Charles B. Pierce. And a little side note, my Uncle Joe used to work what? with Charles B. Pierce all the time. And I wonder now if he worked on this movie because I know he did Town the Dreaded Sundown with him. So there you go. I have to ask my Uncle Joe. So we left the game camera out there on the Sulphur River, and I'm gonna go back out there in a week or two, and either hopefully at the end of this video or maybe in another video, I'll show you what we found on the game camera. Yeah, so. maybe, and we just talked to the clerk here, and she said her husband is a big believer in this monster, that he has seen it personally. So she said she smelled it, she's never seen it. So, so if you wanna check out Falk, Arkansas, and the legend of uh, the Boggy Creek monster yourself, Head on up here and check things out. You can have as much fun as we did. Yeah. And I'm sure it won't be the last time. And you can get a cup or a t-shirt. They have everything you could imagine with that monster on it. They have it in the store. So definitely come check it out. Okay, here we are two weeks later since our canoe trip up the Sulphur River. And we're going to fetch the game camera. We decided to hike in because it's easier. The only catch is it's now deer season. So this is publicly hunted lands. So we're trying to be <laughs> Yeah, hunchback. Take some precautions. <laughs> so wish Yay. us luck. Off on our adventure. I have the game camera marked with the GPS coordinates. So we're gonna go trek off through the woods and see if we can find the camera, which of course has evidence of the Falk monster. Yeah, of course. So here we are. That's the path we came down. From over there, heard a few fish jumping in the water, and then our path this way, that way, down that path is where the game camera is. I've seen a bunch of birds, thankfully, Beautiful. no alligators or anything. Oh, thank goodness, it opened up a little bit. Uh oh. I see the game camera. Can you see it? There it is. Ta -da! It's a miracle we found it again in the middle of the wildlife management area. Ta -da! Maybe we'll end up being on it. Yeah, maybe. I think, I think it's like a 15 second trigger. <laughs> Can you believe that? You know how impossible this would be to find without yeah. GPS? So, just to give a view, so here is where we were down, down below here on the canoe. This is where Winston was talking to me from above when he went to put up the game camera and I was sitting in the I was sitting in the canoe right down there.
Okay, we're on to our next adventure. See y'all next time.